What's up Cubs? I'm Shannon. And I'm Bree. And now for Cubs News. 2022 All Area Youth Volleyball Clinic. This will be run by the Twin Falls High School coaching staff and the 4A State Volleyball Champions at Twin Falls High School. The dates are Monday, March 7th, 14th, and 28th, and Monday, April 4th, 11th, and 18th. The cost is $70. 5th through 8th grade will be from 6.30 to 8 each session. Please pre-register by March 1st to Jacqueline Hawkins volleyball at gmail.com with player's name and grade. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Gummison during school. TV production applications for 2022 through 2023 school year. Attention 6th and 7th grade students. If you are interested in being part of the television production team, please pick up an application for next year. Applications are in the front office and outside Ms. McFarland's room, B16. You are required to have one teacher recommendation and the application is due Wednesday, March 2nd, 2022 to Ms. McFarland. You can turn your application form into Ms. McFarland or turn it into your primetime teacher. AER reading will be due March 4th. Hey Cubs, it's time for campus news. I'm Melody. Kids seem to be stressed out as we are getting closer to the end of the school year. These, there are many coping skills that will work with anxiety and stress, like taking a break when you need it. We interviewed Ms. Albright on some of those coping skills we can use. I'm Mackenzie here interviewing Ms. Albright, school counselor. What it might be the most stressful part about returning to school after being sick? I think there's a couple of things that are stressful. One is that no matter how well you kept up while you were gone, you still miss some stuff in classroom. And um, also, if you weren't able to do a lot while you were gone, then you're facing a lot of missing assignments. And then also just the friend part of it. What did you miss with your friends? Um, maybe something happened that you don't know about it. So that can be stressful as well. What are some coping skills for stress management? I think really focusing on what you can control when you get back. You can't control the fact that you were sick, you can't control what assignments you missed, but you have control over making a plan to get caught up. And so just keeping your focus on that um, and then doing some stuff to take care of yourself while you're trying to get caught up. So eating a really healthy snack, making an awesome playlist to listen to while you're doing your homework, or maybe studying with a friend, taking some breaks, taking a walk playing with a pet, all of those are good strategies for coping with stress. What are some anxiety coping skills? Um, anxiety has a lot to do with your thoughts and a lot of those what ifs, like what if I never get caught up, what if all my friends hate me when I come back, um, and so your thoughts can really get negative in a hurry, and so I think trying to remind yourself and reframing those negative thoughts with positive ones instead, um, so I've got this, I've done hard things before, maybe you even make yourself a sticky note that you stick on your Chromebook to remind you of some of those positive things, and then that's a really good time to reach out for help, and so if you've tried all the things you know how to do and you're still stressed or anxious, then come see Ms. Hawks or I or reach out to a trusted adult. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Thank you for your time, Ms. Albright. And now for Teacher's Corner. Today we are interviewing one of our PE teachers, Mr. Reynolds. Let's see what he has to say. Cubs, it's Marshall here interviewing Mr. Reynolds. How long have you been teaching here? Here at O'Leary? I've yes. been teaching seven years. Okay. What's your favorite sport outside of school? Baseball. What's your favorite game that you play in PE? Uh, I like playing pickleball. Thank you for your time. Now back to the studio. Thank you for your time, Mr. Reynolds. Hey Cubs, I'm Hiram, and now it's time for lunch. Today's lunch is barbecue pork sandwich, steamed carrots, potato wedges, pineapple, dyed turkey hoagie, salad bar, low-fat milk. And now for weather, I'm Dawson. Today will be a high of 41 and a low of 27. And now it's time for today in history. I'm Jacob. On this day, February 15th, 1898, in an explosion of an unknown origin, sank the battleship USS Maine in Havelka, Cuba Harbor, killing 266 of the 354 crew members. The sinking of the Maine incited the United States' passion against Spain, event eventually leading to a naval blockade of Cuba and de declaration of war. And now it's time for Brain Drain. I'm Miley. What does Mona Lisa not have? Is it A, eyebrows, B, a hairline, C, lips, or is it D, fingernails? And the answer is A, eyebrows. 
Hey Cubs, it's time for Babyface. I'm Dawson. Who is this handsome baby boy? Is it A. Tristan Ellis, B. Braden Scott, C. Austin Egbert, or is it D. Noah Call? And the answer is B. Braden Scott. And now for word power. I'm Marshall. What does the word no man mean? Is it A. The raised part of a sundial that casts a shadow, B. An oversized garden gnome, C. The stem of a green colored flowers. Or is it D, a giant ogre that lives in a hill? And the answer is A, the raised part of a sundial that casts a shadow. It's time for recycling. I'm Hazel. There are over three trillion trees on Earth, and there are so many getting chopped down daily. How many acres of trees is getting chopped down? Is it A, 80,000 acres, B, 10,500 acres, C, 300 acres, or is it D, 15,000 acres? And the answer is a, 80,000 acres. And now it's time for birthdays. I'm Brecken. February 11th, Soren Eggerston, Lillian Tyrell Barber. February 12th, uh, Heaven Singleton, Amanda Fuchs. February 13th, Derek Burnham, Hadley Fowler, Marcus Martinez, Noah Thompson. February 14th, Scarlett Bothorpe, Marcus Dwayne Avila, Abigail Johnson, Elizabeth Johnson. Now for Where in the World Are We? I'm Sage. This place is in western part of Wyoming. It is a high elevation mountain range where people go to take pictures and to do some summer and winter activities. It is known for the snow and it gets beautiful scenery. Is it A. Jackson Hole, Wyoming B. Island Park, Wyoming C. Grand Teton National Park Or is it D. Togwati Mountain And the answer is C. Grand Teton National Park and now it's time for sports. I'm Aaliyah. Jennifer Nuzio bowled in her first high school girls singles district tournament last week. She bowled in her best series yet and placed 10th out of 64 girls. Quite an accomplishment for 9th through 12th graders. Now for quote, I'm Tate. Live as if you were to die tomorrow, Gandhi. Thanks Cubs for watching. I'm Bree. And I'm Shannon. And have a great rest of your day.